Hey everybody, Pharmasugan here. Today I bring you the first episode of Minecraft First 48. Uh, to start off with, we're going to create a new world. Oh look, that's the old one that I did. Alright, we're going to create a new world. First 48. Um, I'll be ambitious. Three leading zeros. That way I can make 10,000 episodes and uh, never have to renumber. Anyway, um, let's get this configured here. You know, I'm going to use the world name as the um, I'm going to use the world name as the seed. That way, if you guys want to create the same world, it'll be really easy to remember. Uh, so let's do that. And I'm going to put cheats on. I'll explain that in a second. I'm not going to cheat, but there's a couple things that make sense for this series. So uh, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do, this series is uh, time sensitive. It's going to cover the first two days in my Minecraft world, whatever world I create at that for that episode. And uh, so in order to keep track of that, I'm going to give myself um, a clock. There we go. Start off with a clock. And then, of course, so that we start at the very beginning of the day, I'm going to set the time. zero all right and then we'll start the first two days and I'll explain kind of the concept here the the real main concept was that <clears throat> I'm always looking for good seeds and one of the things I thought that I could do is explore a world for two minecraft days which is about 40 minutes um, and then kind of show it off to anyone who watches the video and that way they can get sort of a spawn area spotlight, see what they start in, what's around them. So we got some pigs over here. Um, let's start off by doing a couple, whoops, just some maintenance. I'll keep a couple of those logs just in case I need coal. Now let's put this down. I'm doing wonderfully. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll start off with our wooden pick. Let's go get some. Uh, let's go get some stone, and um, basically that's the concept. So you guys will get to see different seeds, uh, different spawn areas. Um, you know, what? I'll get stone the easy way here. I'm not gonna look for a cave or anything. Let's just go straight down. Well, never straight down, right? That's the first rule of Minecraft or something. Never dig straight down. Let's just go down here and we'll find stone soon enough. Really? Gravel? That was dangerous. Alright. So, get about 20 gravel. I mean, 20, 20 stone. Uh, this is sort of my standard sort of starting procedure. Oh, that's nice. How nice is that to get iron right off the bat? But it may not be much, so let's get... Oh, I have to, I have, to have coal or something to cook it up, though, in order, in order to get it. Let's, uh... Put our workbench down here. At least make uh, a pick. Oh no, I can't make a pick. What am I thinking? Yeah, I can. So I'll make a pick out of stone and get this iron. And then hopefully we'll get to find some coal pretty soon and we'll be able to cook up food that we find. We saw those pigs over there. That'll be good. Um, Kind of the second reason for doing this series was just to kind of give myself a challenge. I like to see like you know, how fast I can do something. So I thought if I run through this whole two-day process a bunch of times, having sort of a uh, I'm just seeing if there's any coal like right nearby here. Nope. Oh, okay. Actually, while we're down here, let's do this. We'll make all our stone stuff. Let's 
So we'll make a stone pick. I already have that. A uh, stone axe. Stone shovel. Got our pick. Stone sword. And we might even get some farming in. Let's just first we got the we got the stone. Let's just make a, a stone hoe. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, so we have that, and then uh, let's go ahead. Oh man, our daylight is almost half through already. Okay, so let's go to. Uh, what do I want to do? Bring this down here. I need to search around for some coal. Oh. So those pigs, where'd they go? Oh, I'm gonna build a little pillar here. I like to know where spawn is. That's all I remember. The pigs were over here. I totally got turned around. Hey, piggy, piggy! Where are you guys? Ah, oh, there we go. Get some meat. See, these are the good things to know. When starting a new world. You have that C, just being able to be confident that you have what you need to start off with. Starting in Taiga Biomes is tough. It always seems like you have to really search around to find what you need. Um, okay, so we got some meat. That's good. Um, you know what? Let's be a true survivor here. Let's pretend we can't even find coal. Just chop down some trees, make a furnace. So what do you guys think of this idea? Run through 40 minutes of game, kind of get an idea of what's around a spawn area. Would you watch that on a regular basis? I think it'll be good for me anyway. To uh, just as a challenge. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Oh. some coal, so our workbench down right here, and we'll go ahead and put uh, a furnace. Make up some coal. I oh, can use those guys. What else can we use? We can use our wooden pickaxe as some fuel. Iron. That'll cook up some too. All right, let's uh, let's go look around here. Let's see if we can find a cave or something. Or should I build a house first? I really like to find a cave to go into on the first night. I'm just gonna go straight this direction. Let's see if I can find. Oh, this is taiga for days. Snow biome. Just forever. No cave entrances that I can see. Right, let's go the other way. Like I said, I don't like to get too far from spawn. Just because it's nice to know your compass will always lead you back home if you build here. <clears throat> let's go in this direction and see if we have... Hey, more fuel. That's nice to have. We can make some torches in a minute. Uh, let's do this. 
see what that'll cook up. Let me go check this out. Let's make these. So that way if we run into a cave, we'll be ready. Hmm. All water. Ooh, a jungle biome. It's nice. And cocoa beans and whatnot. You know, while I'm here, I'll get some of this, just in case we build a house. Put some windows in it. Oh, this is cool area. See, it's okay to build something, I think, this close to spawn, because your compass still leads you, you know, near where you started. This is cool, but I don't see, I still don't see any, um, any caves. So there's extreme hills over there. And a swamp. This is a pretty good starting area. Oh, even though I'm not going to be sleeping in this series, I'll still try to find sheep. Um, just because, you know, everyone needs a bed eventually. Oh, check out this floating island over here. Floating mountain. That is weird. It's like two biomes hit each other and look what it did. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is really cool. Okay. Alright, let me... I think I'll go back get my furnace. I think this looks like a good place to settle right here. Nice and flat. Build a house. Ooh, is that a cave? Oh no, just a little underwater pond. And I can't run because I have only three health or three hunger left. Oh, where'd you come from? It's not quite night yet. Dark enough to spawn, though, I guess. Get home, quick! Where's my home? I don't feel like I went this far. Oh, Marnie lost my very first episode. It's going to lower my frame rate. I know. Uh, yeah, we're not going to deal with that. So I want you guys to be able to watch the video. There we go. Alright, so we got a little bit more of that. We can do this since we're very hungry. Plant some torches around here. Hopefully make it safe for the night. Knock down a couple more trees. I turn up my brightness all the way because I know YouTube videos tend to be kind of dark. So I want to make sure you guys can see what's going on at night and in caves and stuff. So, get our iron, I mean our food. Let's eat something here. So the next skeleton we meet doesn't kill us. Alright. Get an iron out of that. Alright. Um, no cave to go into. You know what, let's, let's just uh, let's build a house. First night. Let's do this. 
this, but I kind of wanted to build it down there. Oh, let's gather wood. Gather resources. And then, uh... And then use them in the morning to go down there and, uh... Build the house. So this first episode... I mean, two parts, I think. There was some pretty cool stuff back over that way. Yeah, let's go over there and see. You know what? Let's keep collecting wood. No, I think I saw some exposed coal, which would be nice to have. I don't want to get too far out of this circle of light. It's pretty soon we start finding zombies and all sorts of fun stuff to fight. Is a tall tree. Okay, let's do this. And as soon as the sun rises, that will be the end of our first Minecraft day, and technically the first. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Uh, kind of label these episode one, day one, and then episode one, day two. So it's like a 20 minute video. Hey zombie. Was right. that skeleton. Where are you, skeleton? Is there any more coal around here in this little weird rock formation? Nope, but we got a little bit. Now I just gotta beware of skeletons. I saw one right here. Oh, I wouldn't mind having a bow. My goodness, that was like three creepers. Are you kidding me? All came up at once. Oh, thank the Lord for being able to defend with my sword. I'm going to go back to my lighted area. That scared me so bad, those stupid green feet. Oh my goodness. Everyone else probably saw him way earlier and were like, look out! I'm just like, da da da, look, coal, that's nice. And it was like one coal, too. 
Is it worth it? Was it? Saplings. All right, let's uh, let's do the rest of that. Get ourselves an iron sword, some iron tools. The sun's coming up here pretty soon. Our first day is almost over, and then we will go build like a shelter. Check out uh, some more of those, some of that other area. Hopefully, give you guys a good idea of what's around here. I thought I heard someone walking behind me. There it is. Sun's coming up. Two creepers. Three creepers. Oh, it's like a creeper con conspiracy here. Let's start off with this. And then, of course, we got to do this because find any like gold or something by the end of this episode definitely want to be able to get it <laughs> I'm so worried I'm gonna get someone's gonna sneak up on me <laughs> ah it's funny alright well this is the end of day one on episode one so I will bid you adieu and I'll see you for day two